Let's open our Bible to the book of Job. Job chapter 32, verse 8. But there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. Today, I want us to pray that the Holy Ghost will breathe upon us. You see, I have come to notice that the level at which you allow the Holy Spirit to work in your life will be the level in which you are going to manifest His acts. So if you allow him to work more in the inside of you, then you will leave that level of speaking in tongues. Another thing will manifest in your life. I want us to pray this evening and say, Jesus, Jesus. Holy Spirit, breathe upon me in the name of Jesus. Once again, Father, let your breath come upon me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, let your breath come upon my life in the name of Jesus Christ. God, you will breathe on us today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, you will breathe on us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, you breathe on us this evening, in the name of Jesus. Christ. We have come from the bread of life. We come from the bread of life, Lord. The Lord Jesus will breathe on us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Just breathe your name upon me. Sabami, it is a lack of Amiya Satya Damani, it is a lack of Masaya 
again and again because we don't know. By and being ignorant is not something, it's a choice. Let me put that in. And if you choose to be ignorant, you're a victim in the way, even though you're supposed to be someone that is victorious. I want us to pray tonight. Holy Spirit, lead me to know this evening. Lord, I will not be ignorant. The Bible said, let Satan should take advantage of us. Many of us, the reason why our life is so here is because of many times we don't know what the enemy is trying to do. We don't even know ourselves, not to talk of even knowing what the enemy is trying to do. Make us understand concerning that prophet that whenever a king was doing something, God will tell him and said, He will now instruct the king of history. This is where this man is trying to take you. The man has said, Ah, what is happening? Is there somebody among my council that is a spy? He said, No, there is a prophet. So there is nothing that makes, makes those people unaware. They are well aware of it. See, what I'm saying is that. There is something the devil is trying to do about your life that if you are not aware about, you will fall victim. And Bible makes us understand that, that we are not ignorant of his devices. That is, we are not in the dark about it. There is no doubt about it. We are aware. I want us to ask the Lord once again. Lord, I will not be ignorant. Lord, I choose not to be ignorant. Holy Spirit, act. Lead me that I will know Lead me that I will know Jesus. Lord, I will not be ignorant. cry to the Lord and ask him for help. Can we cry to the Lord and ask him for help tonight? Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. trusting the Lord that he will help us and we will come into light in the name of Jesus Christ. We are asking the Lord to be merciful unto us so that it will not be just speaking but there's going to be a translation to the place of experiencing those words that the Lord has spoken to us in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm trusting the Lord tonight that we shall come clearly into the realities of those things in the mind of God. Hallelujah. How many of you believe that? I'd like you to once again let it come to
to you and let please bear it in mind that you have not come and the Lord is not bringing his word so that um, we can be full of informations. No. There is a reality in the mind of God that the Lord has desire that we should come into and which we can never come into except he sends his word. Are you with me? It is the sending of the, of the word of God that brings us into those things that the Lord has in mind for us. So it's very important that we understand that God is not giving us words so that we can have notes. God is not giving us words so that um, we can come into an academic knowing. God is not giving us words so that um, we can while away time. But God is giving us words because there is something is making and that he has desired that we come into. Amen. Amen. So my cry this evening to God, which I believe is your cry too, is that tonight we bring you clearly into everything God is saying. Amen. How many of you understand what I'm saying? You know, when God speaks and then when God is saying what he wants to say, praise God, he brings a people into a, com a communication of it. That is, the reality of what God is saying becomes a person. Then God takes that person to the people and says, this is what I want to say. That will be you today. Yeah. Once again, can we cry to the Lord and say, Lord, make me your word. Make me that which you want to reveal to the world by the power of your word tonight. Jesus, help us. Help us. Help us. Can I say loud amen? amen? Please be seated. God bless you. Act of Apostles, chapter 8. As we see. The word of God. Acts of Apostles chapter 8, we we'll read from verse 9. The Bible said, There was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria, giving out that himself was some great one. Verse to whom all gave heed from the least to the greatest, saying, This man is the great power of God. This man is the great power of God. In other words, give me your attention. This man is the expected Messiah that is to come. This man is the one that has been written in Torah that will come. Are you with me? Amen. But you discover that the man was able to make them believe that he is the one to come because he was engaging a dimension that produces something that looks like what the God of their fathers 
used to manifest. Please follow me. Are you with me? If you are still here, say amen. amen. Now, there is both nature and man. There is a signature of God that they are aware of. And anytime anyone comes like an emissary, okay, let me use that word. Let, when anyone comes like a representative of God, are you with me now? Among every other thing, they search for that sign. Immediately they see that sign. Are you with me? They begin to gravitate towards that person. And they begin to give heed to that person. They begin to listen to that person. Believing that ah, this one has the answer and this one is what we have been looking for. Are you with me? Praise God. And what is that thing? That thing is deploying power. Whether by the spirit or by other given spirit. So, in the days when anything divine invades human territory, both man and nature always seek for the sign of power. Are you with me? If you are here, say amen. There is a thirst in the heart of both nature and man. Something on the inside, are you with me? Desire to have a rapport, desire to have an interaction with the supernatural. And as a result of this, when anyone comes and begins to display something that looks like the realm we are craving for, every one of us, even the best among us, are you with me? We give heed to such a man. One of the things that you don't know is that, amen. amen. Are you still here? Yes, Territories respond to power. Cities respond to power. People respond to power. So, uh, uh, amen. Anytime anything that looks like that realm invade our territory, every one of us we go there. Ah, uh, amen. amen. There was a time there was a madness that invaded this community. When they said a sign appeared on a tree. How many of you remember that time? How many of you remember that time? Amen? Amen. Praise God. Even those of you that say you are Christian, you went there to see. Yes, now, why? Now, you begin to ask and say, what? Well, there is a pool on the inside that normally tells you that, Kai, I am not created to be ordinary. I am created to interact with something beyond this realm. You see, it is that it is the search of for this thing. Are you with me? That makes a man go to see anything that is super human. Amen. 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 How many of you have brothers here? I want you to be. How many of you at a point in time? saw a video of where they said um, lame worked and this is the video and immediately on the inside of you you want to check how it worked how it happened and then you click the video to see how many of you has ever happened eh? and then you watch it and immediately you are watching it what goes on on the inside of you okay, hello how many of you understand what I'm saying something on the inside of you opens up and say car this is my realm haven't you been challenged many times and then you say, can I meet you, I can do this. Has ever happened to you? Yes, so in the day when you see a man that carries it, something on the inside of you is forced to say, this is the man to follow. Eh? That even when your pastor preaches in such a fantastic and powerful way in court, 
but does not have that sign. The day you see a man that carries that sign, do you know that secretly you will begin to admire that man? You are not with me again. Yes, sir. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We are designed that way. We are designed that way. That's why for some of us that are not yet baptized with the evidence of tongue speaking, when others begin to speak in tongues around you, how do you feel? You feel like God. Lord, when will it happen? These people, I know they are not faking it. Well, when will it happen? I, when we were small, for those of us that have prophetic gifts, our friends around us used to admire it. And they used to pray and fast and say, me too, I want to be seen. Ah! No, it is, it does just the normal lifestyle of a man. You see, the normal atmosphere of a man is the atmosphere of power. Are, are you with me? A amen. Everybody wants to be supernormal. There is nobody that wants to be natural. Are you with me? Everybody wants to come with the touch of the supernatural. And you see, when men did not, when men lost the way into it, or they created other parts by other spirits. And then they were able to navigate into the realm of the supernatural and touch power. So magical power, occultic power, and all kinds of power begin to invade the territory of the earth. Amen? Amen. And with those power, Men begin to assess information. Men begin to assess the future. Men begin to assess the past. Men begin to find solutions to things that are not ordinary. Are you with me? You will... Uh, 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 hello? When you enter the hospital, you, hear, you will see something they wrote. Doctors care. Only God heals. Uh, haven't you seen that? So they know that. Are you with me? There is a realm beyond injection. You are not here. Eh? That see, you can come with malaria, and then we are going to give injection. And yet, it is malaria we find. Amen. When we run all the tests, what we detected was malaria parasite. But we have given you all the malaria injection, and nothing is working. So that's why they say we care. Only God heals. Do you understand me? And sometimes. You will complain of a system, of a symptoms. They will run the test and they will say, according to the test we ran, you are normal. But you that we are seeing here, you are not normal. So they will say, first, later. You are not with me again. Are, are, are you with me? So you see, at that, at that level, amen. amen. It is no longer the matter of medicine. It is not the matter of supernatural against supernatural. And I'd like you to look at something here. Look at verse 10 of this place. The Bible said, To whom all gave in from the least to the greatest. So, are you with me? So, men that are great, they listen to men. You didn't hear me. Eh? Great men have the half man or men. Great men have man or men that they listen to. Eh? There is no great man that doesn't have a man that he listens to. Are you with me? The, 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 it's just that the man they listen to has found a path in the realm of the spirit to touch a dimension of power that that great man knows that if I don't listen to this one I will crash Amen, Amen. Are you with me? Therefore, largely Oh, you are not here again Largely, a territory will be obedient to you to the degree of how you have mastered the part of the spirit to touch power You people are not here Eh? Eh. Amen. Amen. There is no door that doesn't have a key. 
The only problem you have is that you don't have the key. That's why the door has not open. The day you find the key, they don't open. Doors don't struggle with keys when it is the right one. You people are not here. Do you understand what I'm saying now? Now, when you... Hello? And, and what I'm trying to say to you is this, that no matter how stubborn any man seems to be, he is still stubborn because you have not mastered the part of the spirit to touch the kind of power that will make him obedient. Because great men listen to men. How many of you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? There is a part of the spirit that is opened unto a man that when a man takes that part, are you with me? He comes to a place where a spirit compels a territory, compels a people to listen to that man. He may be tiny, but every man from the greatest to the least will listen to him. Amen. Amen. You see, in the day when that man has not spoken, praise God, every other person that is talking, abandon that. But eventually everybody has concluded and said, this is the way we are going to do it. And that man comes and says, what do you want to do? He said, say, no, that's not what we're doing. This is what we're doing. Everybody will say, what you have said, including the man that said it. We come and say, Do you understand what I'm saying? And you begin to ask and say, But God, why? Because the man had mastered a part of the spirit and he has mastered that part. That part he has mastered has opened a channel of power to him. He taught that power to a level that men concluded and said, This man. Is the great power of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So in the days when the spirit begin to act. In the saints, on the saints, and among the saints, are you with me? The spirit begins to act by opening a path to be mastered. What did I say? Opening a path to be mastered, and by mastering that power, a mastering that path, a people come into power that makes a territory to obey them. Oh. You are not with me again. If I see a say amen. amen. How many of you understand what I'm saying? Let me say it again. Let me say it again. Let me use an illustration you understand because I don't want it to be complicated. I want everybody to live here with clear understanding. Are you here? Yes, now, if you are given amen. 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 If you are given a problem, how many of you know that subject that normally gives problem? Eh? Okay. You all know that, that subject. They don't give solution in their life. All they give is problem. And they ask you to go and find solution. They say solve it. Solve this problem. And you know to every problem that is given, there is a formula. You are not with me. Now, when you master the formula, solving the problem becomes very easy. Are you with me? Now, you see, the day the spirit begins to act, are you with me? He gives you the path and, asks, and teach you how to master that path. So, when you begin to tow that path, you will begin to touch power. As you begin to touch power, are you with me? That stubborn brother of yours will obey the gospel. You are not here. Eh? You people are not here. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's those your parents that you think, ah, why are they hard like this? When you master that path.
heart. You will be praying one day and then you will find the two of them leaning down beside you, saying amen. And you will imagine what has happened. The way they will cry that they will think, who beat one angel in it? No! It is because the spirit has begun to act and a path has been opened unto you and you are mastering that power and then in mastering that power a, a, you are mastering that path and in mastering that path a power has been released are you with me that whether they like it or not amen, amen. let's read one more verse here then i take it to psalms and then we see it i speak upon your life today a path will be opened unto you by the spirit of the living god and listen you will master that part. Oh, I say you will master that part in the name of Jesus. Are you with me? Allah kwa selebo sababa ni kato zeli mahadabash. How can you walk when you don't know the ways of the wind? When you don't know the way, the power that's walking you, oh, in I can't hear you singing if you know it. Bring in everything. says but when they believe Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus they were baptized both men and who now oh, amen now a man had put the whole community under his influence now another man arrived then influence swallowed influence are you with me verse 13 the bible said then Simon himself eh? because no matter the dimension of power you have taught when you see another dimension higher than your own the nature on the inside of you will gravitate towards that one. Say, let me go and see. You are not here. Eh? Amen. Have you ever noticed that when you when a man teaches by the strength of the Holy Ghost, 
You, you, you that you call yourself a teacher will still go and listen to that man. What's happening to you? It's because you are wired. Are you with me? Only to exist. You are wired only to live. You are wired only to survive in this realm by the other realm. So anything that comes from that place will attract you. You are not with me. The danger now is that other path has been opened by other spirits that men interacted with. So there are many paths that are not the real path. When you take those paths, you will touch things, but you will not be touching the real thing. You will be touching things that when the real thing comes, it will swallow. Because when the real one enters the area, the one that Simon was using, are you with me? Was swallowed up. So listen to me, listen to me. If a man is a witch, or a woman is a witch, and a man is a wizard, or whatever it is, are you with me? In the day when real power step into the territory, you will be swallowed up in victory. Now, Simon himself believed, and when he was baptized, he continued with Philip and wondered, beholding the miracles and signs which were what? Now, so you are going to see here that the people had stayed so long with one dimension of power. So another power came. Now, listen to me. If Philip entered that territory with the gospel alone, without the sign of the gospel, are you with me? Simon the sorcerer will rubbish his gospel. Amen. Yes. Blessed be the Lord. You have been taught how to preach the word. And you are now carrying the fire of the word on your bosom. But the day you arrive your territory, they will still ask you, what did you bring? You know, did you understand what I was saying? What did you want? And if you brought nothing, amen, they will listen to you, but they will still go to Simon. You didn't hear me. And that's why, amen, your parents will like your holy life, but they will still go and consult those prophets. Are you with me? Amen. Because there are issues of life that they need to settle. There are questions of tomorrow and things that they don't understand that they need to answer. But you have come with a gospel that lacks. Do you understand what I'm saying? So now, are you with me? Amen. You have only presented to them a Jesus that died that they resurrected. So you will see here that the people did not obey Philip just because he preached. They obeyed him because there was a dimension half behind. There was a dimension that testified to the preaching that is from God. Huh? Huh? That's why I love that hymn. I love that hymn. Amen. amen. If you are still with me, say amen. How many of you now understand what I'm saying? Now, you see, we teach you life. We teach you to touch the life of the Father by the act of the Spirit. Are you with me? But what the Spirit will, when the Spirit act, you will not just touch the life, you will touch the power. If you don't touch the power, the equation is not balanced. Are you with me? As a matter of fact, what the father comes by the spirit to anoint is the life are you with me are you with me <laughs> oh god let's go amen that's no that's 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 not it. 
we leave this one now. And then I will show you something in Psalm. Let's go to Psalm. Sit down. God bless you. Let's go to Psalm. If you are still say Amen. Abba. Today the Lord will teach you. Amen. The people are not here. Amen. I said the Lord will teach you. You will touch this reality. Mm. Hallelujah. I think I lost this place. I think I lost this. I will find it. Spirit divine, help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Amen. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Hallelujah. Now you said he said this. He said, Say unto the Lord, how fearful are thou, and through the greatness of thy power. That's that's verse 67. Are you with me? 67. Thank you. Is that 67? Is that 67 or 66? That's 66. Psalm 66. Let's read from verse 1. Psalm 66, let's read from verse 1. He said, Make a dolphin also unto God, all ye lands. Sing for the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. Aha. Say unto God, How terrible are thou in thy works. Now, what did you see here? What was the next thing you are going to read there? He said, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit what? Themselves unto thee. So it means, are you with me? Praise God. Look up. Look up. Every one of you seated there, including myself, you were once an enemy of the Lord. So it means the day you became born again and you became like this, that everybody in your family now begin to wonder, ah, about the one and one When did this Jesus, 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 Jesus thing now became a matter? It, we used to live together now before. This thing we used to do before. Now, why did you now stop doing it with us? Amen. Amen. Praise God. That thing that came upon you was not ordinary. It was the greatness of his power that made you submit. And can I say this to you? If we capture this territory, <laughs> amen, the enemies of the Lord in this territory won't bow just like that. Amen. We must come with a great power that we make this territory bow. Otherwise, our gospel will not leave the four walls of our meeting. Do you hear me? the act of the spirit that you must come into and when you come into it hello you are no longer here are you with me one message just one one preaching we shake a hope we shake a whole community one you don't need to just one Amen. Amen. Praise God. Are, <coughs> look up. You have been doing VT. Lord, I subdue. I break. The day you master that path that the Holy Ghost is opening unto you, and you touch that dimension, one VT. How many? Not, not too many. If you use 100 days VT to arrest one demon, how many videos will you do to arrest every other demon in your life? Do 
you understand that? When you master that part, are you with me? Praise God. You people are not here. One night vigil, just one. As you raise your voice, by the time the morning will break, catastrophe will hit the community. Eh? And everybody will begin to look for you. Amen. You will be sleeping when the news of what you stared in the night will come to you. People will just come and wake you up and say, Ah, you have not had it. Something had happened, and then you say, What is it? And when they begin to give you the testimony, then you look at yourself and say, Ah, this was what I said in the night. You will steer the realm of the spirit in the night, and then just your rebellious friend to the gospel. We just come early in the morning. While you are sleeping, they will come and knock, go, go, and just sit there and say, ah, we want to follow you today. <laughs> Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemy submit themselves unto you. Are you with me? A amen. We, we compel submission in territories by the act of the Spirit. Do you understand? Yes, sir. We compare submission in our extended family by the act of the spirit. And when the spirit are, it generates power. What does it generate? And when they see that power, they will submit. They will submit. Hello. Eh? No, that boy is still carrying charms all around because he has not seen anything greater than charm in you. The day he sees it, he will come and submit his charm. Are, are you with me? One of my one of my dear ones one day was, was trying to. So I called him. I said, How are you? He said, Fine, sir. I said, I said everything. He said, fine. I said, you are welcome. He said, I didn't go anywhere. I said, you. You didn't go anywhere. You went to social place and social place to go and do this. He said, ah. I said, eh, I followed you there. I said, for, you just came back this morning. You know what he said? <laughs> he, you know what he said? Oh, the mama, what are you? So anytime I call him, you know, you know, for you to see the number of someone and the fear to pick the call is creeping you. How many of you understand what I'm saying? So he picks the call and he says, yes. I say, where did you go? He said, love you, can all of you I asked him one day, take it parallel you there. I said, I'm not going to I'm not God. But the day you lose the back end of your covering, you are gone. <laughs> you know what happened? That week he repented. <laughs> See you? He became born again by force. That week. No, he backslided again. <laughs> but that week, when he saw her, ah, Amen. <laughs> a man that didn't live where he is and he saw it, he, he checked to see where is he getting the information for he discovered that there was nobody that was giving the information that was when he discovered that ah, no 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 the sight of a prophet is bigger than that of Ifa and listen to me and there are some men don't because you carry charm and then you have taught some things and then you dare them. If they look at you and say, oh, then, hey. Even the devil will tell you, kill all us in Lord way. Are you here? Such a man, the Lord will make you. 
I said, such a man, the Lord will make you. In the name of Jesus. Are you with me? There is something your territory is waiting for. That is why they have not responded. The day they see, they will respond. And that was why. Amen. If you are here, say amen. When the Lord will be returning, he said something. I'm just about to start preaching now. The other thing I did was just, I, I just did the foundation for what I wanted to say. How many of you understand what I wanted to say now? Your heart is open for it. Let me say it again to you. Amen. Amen. No territory is empty. Every territory has an occupant. No life is empty. Every life you see is occupied by spirit. Because that life is generated by spirit. That life is generated by what? Whether the spirit of obedience or the spirit of disobedience. Amen. Amen. Now, hallelujah. If, if, if you are going to be a blessing to that life, by bringing that person under the force of the gospel, then the force of the spirit you carry must be stronger than the force of the spirit living in that person. Are you with me? Yeah. Amen. You are not here. See, let me say this to you. The contest we are into in bringing men to the Lord is the contest of Moses in Egypt. So if a strong hand, an outstretched arm, is not what is our backing, are you with me? We will cry, let my people go, and Pharaoh will still torment them the more. Hello? If the force that you have brought to a territory is not stronger, your intercession for that territory will vex the spirit in the land. And they will become more aggressive. Are you with me? Do you know what happens to you when you stone a snake and you don't have what it takes to kill the snake? May you not be a black mamba. Do you know black mamba? Agbadu. <laughs> hey, hey. Eh? Hello. Are you with me? Now, when you steer the honest and you have no fire to capture them, what happens to you? Won't you be serious this tongue? Eh? You people are not here. Do you understand what I'm saying? Amen. amen. If you are still with me, say amen. amen. Now, when Moses entered Egypt and he came with a strong demand and he entered the presence of Pharaoh and said, Amen. You see, let me say this to you. The sign you need before the people of God Eh? Eh? is one the sign you need when you come in contact with the powers that are holding a territory bound is another eh? now what do I mean by that for apostle now eh? for apostle now I don't need to do like this and he falls before he knows that I'm sent by God you don't understand me. How many of you understand what I'm saying? But before a, tip, a typical hardened, chronic Muslim that has mastered the part of stargazing, 
and the, and the part of black magic. Many of you don't know that an average Muslim is a stargazer. And they've mastered the part of black magic. You don't know anything. You only wake up in the morning and think there are normal people like you. <laughs> you better sit up. Eh? You are doing the same business with them and then you see them suddenly rise and you imagine and then you more will say you mean no are you with me you understand the part of the spirit that you don't understand so he engaged sponsorship and you are just engaging calculation there are many people eh, they've closed down their business and they are flourishing if you don't have a strong sponsorship are you with me you can't prosper among them I know what I'm saying as a prophet of God. They will shut you down. Have you noticed that some business are closing down where their own is prospering? Yes, eh? Is the community bigger than this? It is because you don't understand that it's not about calculation. It's about the part of the spirit. That's why some Christians in court, whether they attend winners or they attend CNS or they attend um, Jesus is Alive or they attend... Um, um, equa or they attend deeper or they attend anywhere that's why some Christians in court also go behind you don't understand that behind to touch some other things so that they also can stay in business <laughs> ah, wake up you will touch reality how many of you understand what I'm saying do you understand what I'm saying so if you are not strong in the spirit they will shut you down If you meet such a man, are you with me? Praise God. There is something more you will give. You people are not here. But I said, there is something you will give. You will come with something more. Otherwise, his hardened heart will not be broken. You see, Aka deep does not need argument. Just come and say, I will prove to you that Jesus is Lord. No problem. That I'm in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, fall down. Amen. And he falls down. And you look at his companion and say, All of you begin to speak in tongues. Amen. And all of them began to speak in tongues. You know the crowd they gathered that day. What will happen to that crowd? You people are not here. Eh? Amen. You know, that, that place will become a crusade, guys. not? Then you touch the phone and take the microphone and say, Every one of you say, Jesus, you are my Lord. When there are guys on the ground and the rest are speaking in tongues, would they say so? It's not about arguing whether the Bible is, is like Quran or whatever. You see, those arguments don't win souls. And what the enemy wants to do, are you with me now, is to drag you into a place of reasoning revelation. Eh? Haven't you read that the gospel we preach is foolishness to them that perish? But to us, it is the power of God. Is that not? okay? How do you explain to them? So, in the days of argument, they will win. Oh, you are not with me. Are you with me? Okay, tell me. Amen. 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 Let's look at the natural sense in this. You are the one that sinned and did everything. Then they say because someone has taken your sin, someone that died some years ago that you didn't even see. And then they told you that that person has taken your place. Therefore, all the sin you have seen has been forgiven. Does it make sense? So how do you win argument with that one? So it means you need something extra to make that what to make sense to people. You are not here again. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> so, it has it. When we are, uh, hello, when we are to convert the Gentiles, what we need is not reasoning with them. What we need is the demonstration of the power of God, a backing 
are you with me now so that our simple gospel comes in the rampa of great power and when it touches them they have no choice than to bow and when we bring them now into faith by the spirit now we now begin to open them up into things can i even say this to you are you with me that if if what you are going to preach is not backed by the act of the spirit they cannot convert anybody you are not here again eh? you see why all of you are here looking at me and say hey this thing is serious and then something is born on the inside of you and you cannot sit down and your leg is just shaking you are just doing like this hey god help me lord help me fire is born on the inside of you it's not because I know how to calculate words. It is because there is a backing. That backing is the reason why your heart is burning. If that backing should leave, I will still preach this same message. And you'll be looking at yourself, what is he saying? For it is the spirit by his act that opens the understanding of men and sends the heart of men ablaze onto a message. So that when you say, let us pray, people begin to pray as if they are mad. They are not mad. Though. Are you with me now? Their spirit has taken over. Hi. So you know, when Moses entered the place and said, Let my people go, the man said, To where? Now, look at me. You know, I said something the other time. Let me show you. Now, you see, Moses threw the rod down, it became stake. He took it to the presence of the elders of Israel. Are you with me? He put his hands inside and it became whatever and he put it back and they saw it. The Bible said when they saw it, they bowed down their heads and they worshiped and said God had visited them. When they got to the presence of Pharaoh, what happened? Eh? When Moses threw the rod down, you are not with me again. Then the magician also brought their own rod. I said, what have you done? Say, so you brought one world, we will bring many roads. So many snakes will be here. And then they brought down their roads, and then their road became snake too. Now, what God gave Moses on the mountain was just two things. Plus one, pour water on the ground to become blood. Is that not? But now, a snake, their own road too has become snake. What he needed to convince the elders of Israel. Are you with me? Yes, we are just those things. Now he has come before Pharaoh. There's something extra. Then the snake swallowed their snake. <laughs> Are you with me? But that was the beginning. If the rod of Moses, if the snake of Moses does not swallow their snake, Moses will leave that palace disgraced that day. Ah. There is a demonstration that the territory want to see. And that demonstration does not come until the spirit act. Can you see after me say Holy Ghost act? Ghost. Ah. Are you with me? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Brian, like Brian, like eh? They will respond to your morning cry when the Holy Ghost act. And morning cry will become a crusade. You stand a man a, if a man should stand before the house where they carry mass it and they say, Repent of this thing, said a lot of us. But I have said that you will not repent, and therefore the Lord will bring a sign. That thing that all of you are celebrating, fire will burn it today. And as he said it from nowhere, everybody saw fire. Okay, a man that called fire to burn what you are worshiping. Will you be able to attack that man? Then eh? Kokunu. Eh? And he stood there. I said, if all of you will not repent, there is a dimension of judgment that comes when men are hard and they don't come except the spirit act. You are not here. Do you know that even preaching is not possible until you act? He said, for take no thought for what you shall say. But the Spirit will give you utterance. Who will give you? So it is the act of the Spirit that grants utterance. It is not note. 
your notes can be fantastic and when you get there you will be dry it is not by might it is not by power but by my spirit are you with me if you think it's by ah, me to have stayed long in fellowship come and take microphone all of us will sleep here Do you, know, do you know how many times a genuine preacher dies before he stands before the people? I'm not talking about a year preacher. Uh, Apostle Sayah Rome said something yesterday. <laughs> I was listening to him. I was just, you see, I listened to the point. I didn't finish the message. I didn't, something just stopped me. Amen. He said something that touched me. He said one man was mentoring him in quote on how to succeed in ministry. He now brought out a sack. He said, all the message I will preach for this year are in this sack. It is not the only God that decides what he's going to preach, but that sack. Many people will go good their sermon. They will give them preach about repentance so they will go to Google repentance then they copy it word for word if your source is Google then the people you preach to they will have a Google life yeah. and one thing that's the truth because men will respond to your source not your flow Eh? Are you with me? Yeah, that's where they will respond to. So if your source is Gogu, they will live by Gogu. Mm. Then they came to a point where, Amen. Are you with me? When what Moses did, they cannot longer do. Then they say, This is the finger of God. And the Bible says, And the man Moses was great in the land. Are you with me? Amen. So that a man was sitting in the palace, but the throne belongs to Moses. The one that caught the shot. Amen. I know any time people see Moses walking in Egypt. How many soldiers were with him? How many bodyguards does he have? Eh? You are not with me. How many bodyguards? Eh? That shows me that there is a level of the spirit that we are yet to touch in the church in Nigeria. When we touch that level, are you with me? We will not be afraid that anybody can kidnap us. Because we shall be working with a dimension of power that kidnappers will be afraid of. We shall get there. Yeah. How many of you understand what I'm saying? How many of you understand what I'm saying? I'm robbers will be afraid of your territory. They will say, that, that, hell. Hell. Let peace will be afraid when they see you come. Eh? You will carry the dimension. The spirit will act so much on you that you will carry the dimension that anybody that is coming in the mind of immorality, when they see you, that thing will just vanish. Because there is a flame that the demon they are bringing cannot stand. Cut. You will enter that level. Yeah. I, mean, of, I mean, of you understand what I'm saying? So God said, don't worry. Are you know something? The breathing of the spirit was too fantastic for Moses. I will do this, you know, but he will not let you go. So when he said no, Moses was not surprised. There was no frustration. Are you with me? I will do it, but he will not let him go. Then when he will let him go, he said, I will bring one more. Then he will let him go. He was aware. There is the act of the spirit that makes the people that they don't send you to honor you. 
when the rest sea parted, the Bible said they believe God and they fear Moses. Uh, are you with me? Eh? When Jordan parted before the children of Israel, everybody feared Joshua. Oh, this, uh, they fear, the Bible says, and they honored him all the days of his life. There are pe the people that God send you to, we not honor you, the spirit does not act. And the act of the spirit that brings honor is when he trains you in the path where a man touches power. Touches what? There's nothing as wonderful as they say, Hey, what if I go and they call you? Say, Look at him and leave that thing and put the phone beside him. And they say, I cannot pick, say, just pick it there, put it there. And you speak, then the man jack back to life, amen. If they are doing family meeting and they say, This is what I'm going to say, we are not doing it, who will, who will argue? They will just look at themselves, and you focus on you, to go. If you know that song, take it from your heart. Hey. Sing it from your heart. I Let's 
sit down where are the protocols please help me monitor those kids amen act of apostle chapter 1 Amen. He will act. Amen. You are not. I say he will act. Amen. Oh, come on, come on. I say he will act. Amen. And because he will act, we will master the path of power. There is a path to it when you master it by his art. Are you with me? You see, power, it is very easy to raise the dead. It's because we have not mastered that part. <laughs> there is a part of power, of utterance, that when we master that part, you can't enter eternity and preach, and the whole community will not come under conviction. Are you with me? There is a part that when the Holy Ghost acts on a man, he teaches you, and when he takes you on that journey, amen, if you preach 10 times in a day, and the, with the same people, the dimension they saw the other time, they will nearly die. And when you come the next time, they will still see another one. Are you with me? Then after the 10th time, they will look at you and say, what kind of man is this? No, it's not you. The act of the Spirit has taught you a part that you have mastered. That's the reason why a man that by the help of by the act of the spirit that has been taught this part, are you with me? Anytime they appear before you, you always imagine and say, ah, we thought he preached last week. You are not with me. That we thought this man preached last week. Last week we thought we are under the power of God, but when he came this week, we are just ah, last week was just swallowed up in victory. Another dimension just manifested. God, what kind of man is this? No, it's not a man. It's not the man. It is the act. Are you with me? There is a transformative power under, oh my God, under the word of God that the man is just speaking and you are changing. No, you didn't hear me. The man is speaking and you are changing. The man is speaking and you are changing. You just had one man and your prayer life just changed. You that you cannot pray for 30 minutes before. The man just preached. Then an energy of prayer just entered you. And you began to pray for six hours. And you begin to imagine what happened. You that you cannot master loss before. You just had one preaching. And the preaching did something to you. Then suddenly loss disappeared. You are wondering what happened. It is a part of the spirit. That when he acted, he brought one man into. And he trained that man to master that part. So that any time that man stand before you and he speaks something in you move ah. can you pray this prayer holy ghost teach me to master the path of power can you pray seriously <laughs> Only because you are the one I call upon. I am not interacting with another spirit. It is your spirit. Teach me to master the path of power. Teach me to master the path of power. Teach me to master the path of power. Oh! 
Sande le mosia de le huaraba. Araba para na na tele mosua tele kabaya tanani. Ina mania shamba le katane mosua tele. Ya bada makua barate. Sini na mili kapa na le mbiya tanama bado kata le basia. What do I call them? They are not just words. It's a sponsorship. Many people think it is publicity that gathers men. Go and organize one program, then push it very well. Let them help you announce it on all the radios. Then you will know that publicity is weak if the spirit does not sponsor the program. Uh, uh, are you with me? Yes, it is the spirit of God, it's not, it's not publicity. That's why a man does not become popular because he publicizes himself. When the spirit acts, when the spirit acts, are you with me? A man becomes famous without publicity. The Bible says, and he returned, that's Luke chapter 4. He returned in the power of the spirit and his fame went abroad. It wasn't by publicity, it was by the spirit. So that a man is not disadvantaged even if he stays in the corner. When the spirit acts from the corner, he will shake the center. Can I announce this to you? Your ministry, your calling, your business is not advantage because we are the center. It's advantage because there is an act of the spirit. When the spirit acts, you can be in the relay and people will patronize you from Lagos. It is because you have not mastered that part of the spirit. And he has come today to teach you. You have been enrolled in that school. You are enrolled in that school. Ah, ah, are you with me? Hey, hey, Amen. You see, it is in that school. That is where a man has accurate angelic interaction. What do I say? Accurate. It's not this demonization that people call angelic manifestation it, it, it is not by looking for the names of angels or by looking at the star and saying hey, the star faced this place today it, no, no, it's not by that one where was Peter looking for the face of his star no, no, and the angel just came and tapped him ah, have you ever received the tap of an angel before, it's sweet a very sweet one when they touch you, fire enters your body God, when you see them Everything around you change. They are the most beautiful being a man will love to behold. You know why? They stand before God. By the mercy of the Lord, by the mercy of the Lord, I've been privileged to see them. Hi! Hey, I've enjoyed their ministry. Now, it doesn't come because it comes by the act of the spirit. Go and check the act of apostles. You will see a dimension of angelic ministration like never before. Yes, sir. 
coming, Abba, coming so close. Are you with me? You know, it's a blessed thing when you are walking and you know you are in the midst of angels. Eh? Will you be afraid in the night? When you know four angels with sword are marching with you. Eh? Are you with me? Even when you are a, even when you are a sister, will you be afraid to go to the mountain in the night? You know four angels with sword in their hands. Everywhere illuminated. In the spirit you can see it. That when you are walking, it's not dark. When you are walking, it's illuminated. Will you be afraid? And you will go with boldness. And if one dog is shouting, just laugh and say, Oh, demon crew. The people that are with me here are too strong. Are you, are you with me? But you can't see. You can't come to that realm of believing. You can't come to that realm of boldness because the Holy Ghost has not acted. He will act. Yeah. Are, are you with me? Can I say this to you? Impartation. A man laying hands on you has not conferred the anointing yet until the Holy Ghost act. Many of you think it is by keeping company of strong men. I know that there is a flow that comes when you keep the company of strong men. But when you keep the strong men of strong men, are you with me? The thing rub on you when the Holy Ghost act. Until he acts, you will keep their company and nothing will touch you. Amen. And if you ask me how, where were the brothers of Jesus? What did they touch? Why did they know his brothers? Did he never come from the same womb that he slept in? How will you come from that womb that Jesus slept in and not in touch? Amen. Say something and we go today. Are you blessed? Uh, this message has not yet as uh, will not be completed today. We are still going to speak because there are things that the act of the spirit in the part of power will do to you. Act of apostles, chapter two. Okay, chapter one. Did I say Genesis? Eh? Okay, because I see Gen- I saw Genesis. That was all I was saying. Act of Apostle chapter 1. Let's read. Fast 4, please. Because of our time. The Bible says, And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait from the promise of the Father, which said he, You have heard of me. Now, you see? Amen. Look up. Please. Are you with me? Venture not into preaching a gospel without power. I want to plead with you. Make that a principle of life. Amen. Look up. And let me say this to you. I want to plead with every one of you. Make it a principle of life. That you will not step out of, the, of your door any day. Until you are confident of the fact that you are in deal with power daily. Amen. A day weakness is enough to win you. A day weakness is a gap enough for the enemy to truncate everything that you have invested up for ages. Now, will a, does a man have infirmities of days that it appears as if God, I cannot engage today what's happening. Keep crying, help me. 
what nation should be quit me? So that in the days when your body is weak, just call him and say, help me. For there is a quickening dimension on the inside of me. Are you with me? He, there are groanings that he will pick as you are saying, help me. And you roll back. It appears as if nothing say, so just keep saying, help me. He will not ignore that cry. I've learned that with experience over time. Amen. Now, those of you in my house know, knew that I just came back from Lagos today. Eh? And the man that was with me in Lagos knew how Lagos was. How was it? Is pleasure a bit? Is it pleasure? Amen. I didn't sleep until. Is it? Was it? I don't even know. Maybe Park six in the morning yesterday or but I don't know. And I woke up around eight, and I didn't sleep again until around eleven p.m. And this morning again, something woke me up around three because I know I will be standing before people to preach from seven to nine this morning. Amen. Now, a, a, a time came when my body was like, I need rest. And I know the body needs rest. You know what I was saying? Help me. I told my son that was with me. I told him, I said, Okwe, okay, I'm going to teach these people today, but I don't have a note. What happened in the church? Fire fell. But the secret was that as we are going, I was just crying, Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Some minute to the time I would preach, I was just saying, Help me, Holy Ghost. If you don't come, nothing will happen here. And he came. He came strongly. Amen. When we came back, my body told me that, you know, you didn't sleep yes, well yesterday. We must sleep today, otherwise, we will not do anything this evening. Pulling ourselves together, and then again, it was still the cry Help me. And is it manifesting now? Are you with me? Step out, a weak man. Step out each day energized by the spirit. Because can I say this to you? The things you want to go and face outside your door are stronger. If you don't come by the strength of the spirit, you'll be subdued that day. You see, a lot of people did not begin to fall into immorality the day they fell. They came out weak. The defeat didn't happen when you slept with that sister. The defeat didn't happen when that immorality act started. The defeat happened before you step out of your door. From this evening, speak in the name of Jesus. No day of your life will be exemplified by weakness. For by the act of the Spirit, you will be strong. Each day you will be stronger than that which the enemy is bringing. In the name of Jesus Christ. He told them, don't depart. Stay here. And can I announce this to you? Amen. Amen. One of the principles of the path of power is waiting. <laughs> what do I say it is? A man that has mastered the act of waiting is not wasting. He's not wasting. He's not wasting time. He's only buying time for a wait. What do I say is he buying time for? A wait. He has God called you to ministry. If the ministry will not end 30, 50 years, you need a weight inside to carry the weight. Hallelujah. Look here. 
You see, this thing I'm sitting on can carry me because the weight here is stronger than my weight. Are you with me? But eventually, I carry a weight stronger than this thing and I sit on it. What will happen? Hey, my dear, you are not wasting time by waiting. You know? One of the principles of this part is wait. Because can I say this to you? The destiny that God designed for you, if you don't carry weight now, when that destiny rests on you, you will crash. My dear, if you are going to be a pastor, you are going to stand before beautiful sisters. You must carry the energy within that will stay with a beautiful, careless sister and not lost. If the weight does not come on the inside, you will sleep with your members. You will have good intention. You will not want to do it. But the, can I say this to you? When people approach you, they approach you with a sack. And that sack is full of destiny and demons. It is the weight of the spirit. Are you following me now? That we cast the demon out and manifest the destiny. If you don't carry the weight, the demon in them will choke you before the destiny in them manifests. How many demons did Mary Magdalene brought to Jesus? How many? Eh? We don't know. Maybe there are people that, are, that their own are to weigh that off. Eh? Do you know the man of gathering his own is legion? Eh? So you don't know whether the one you are going to meet is legion of legions. Wait. If you don't want to waste. Are you with me? Say amen. amen. Please do you understand what I'm saying. Don't need wait. Wait daily. What does I say should do? How many times? them but he knows that see what I taught you can only work in the life of men until the spirit act the next verse verse 5 for John truly baptized with water but ye shall be baptized about amen with the Holy Ghost, not many days. Let me let me tell you something about baptism. Are you with me? Amen. Amen. You know, baptism is not staying above the water. Baptism is not staying in the midst of the water. Baptism is not standing in the water. Baptism is coming under the water. Do you get that? So let me let me paraphrase this place. Eh? For John truly baptized with water unto repentance. But he shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. You know what that means? You will come under the Holy Ghost. Praise God. When a man is under water, is he breathing? Eh? Eh? He has lost his breath. Abi? Eh? Eh? Because if he loses that breath, what happened? <laughs> Come on down! Him. And when a man does not breathe, what's that man? A dead man. So, so you see, when you come under water here, yeah, you are slain in the spirit. Not this one that you fall in trouble. 
it is when a man is slain in the spirit that is when he generates are you with me now a terror on the territory praise god when a man died yesterday and you are walking home and you saw him sitting on the street you know he died yesterday and we buried him yesterday then you are walking the day is dark like this and you got to that angle you know the angle and you saw that person sitting and say shewa Baoni. amen before you remember tongues what will happen The strongest among us will first tremble. Are you with me? Now, there is a terror you generate when you become a slain man in the spirit. That even the strongest in the land, when they see you, they jack. And when you come under something, it means you are under the power of that thing. Are you with me now? So when you are baptized with the Holy Ghost, it's not just about tongues. It's about coming under the influence. That the one that has greater power over you now is not you. It's not flesh. It's not your thinking. It's not man. You have come under a strong influence. That the influence will rules you anytime, any day, anywhere. Do you understand what I'm saying now? He's the ruler. Such men are men. Are you with me now? That will bring a dimension. See, let me say this to you. You don't make the lame walk by both face. It is when you are under the influence. If it is both face, go and pray for one blind man at the street. If they won't beat you, if they won't beat you today. If in fact you yourself will be looking for a way of escape because the eyes of the man will not open. Go and dear a madman. That's when you are going to know that what happened to the sons of Skepha can still, can still repeat itself. And God bless you. And then you know, if it happened before, if it's happening now, it's a higher dimension for the glory of the latter. <laughs> I didn't say that one. Did you hear that one? It means. But when you are under the influence of this spirit, are you with me now? Everything is under you. So when you look at the madman himself, will not be willing to look at you because you will carry a fire. When he sees it, he will run. You say, Come back here. Then he will come. Say, Neither. Everybody will be wondering what's happening and saying, Then I cast out this demon. Then he will come, become sane. That's not you. That is the spirit. You are under his influence. Now he's acting. And power is flowing because he's acting. I mean, of understand what I'm saying now. Because you cannot act without the flow of power. Anytime the Holy Ghost acts, there's a release of energy. Anytime the Holy Ghost acts, there is a release of an energy. Anytime he acts, there's a release of an energy. Whether he's acting, he's speaking. When men are under that kind of speaking, are you with me? Everything in them is shaking and being shaped. They will lose, they will leave that place and then they will say, Can't, I, I can't hear this message and stay like this. How many of you have read Christian literature that when you read the first chapter, everything in you changed? That is not a writing of a man. It is the writing of a spirit. Mr. Bedeko said something one day. He said, the words I spoke to you commit to writing. He said, and I will call the same anointing to rest on the writings. So when you read that one, <laughs> you are reading a kind of anointing. Are you with me? Not many days. They asked him a question. Then he said, it is not it is not given to you to know what time and season. You see, time and season. Kronos and Kairos. He says, it's not given you to know the Kronos. It's not given you to know the Kairos. So I, I, I found out today as I was studying this place that there is Amen. If I say, say Amen. There is a Kronos and Kairos that is not given to us to know. As powerful as a Kairos season is, you know, Kairos season, I've taught you that it's a season that is marked by definite happenings. How many of you know? Kronos is um, January 1, January 2, the normal counting of this. You understand now? So when you say, how old are you now? You say, I'm, I'm, I'm 67. Look at the way she's looking at me. 
I didn't say you are 67. I'm only giving an illustration. Uh, don't brighten your face. Amen. I'm, I'm 29. I'm 30. That's a Kronos counting. You understand what Kronos is now? But when you say a Kairos counting, a Kairos counting is when you come and say, I remember nine, I remember September 28, 7 a.m. in the morning. As I was praying, the angel of the Lord walked through that door. That's your Kairos season. And when the angel of the Lord walked through that season, he touched me in this place. And that's the reason for this thing you see manifesting. You see, that time in your life is a Kairos moment. It is marked by a definite happening. And I found out that Kairos normally come in Kronos. You know that? So God now says, see, there is a Kairos time that you cannot know. Because what will happen at that time, are you with me now, is an event that eternity is waiting for. Eh? It's going to be a season that no man will ever forget. But that, that Kairos time will not be known. And that Kronos time will not be known. He now said, but see, oh, even when you are not going to know that one, there is something that is given to you to know. And what is it? You shall receive power. What will you receive? You shall receive power. But that power will not come. It will only come after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Did you hear me? It will not come under you. It will not come with you. It is after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You shall value your nourish. It will come upon you. And so there's going to be an incubation. And when that incubation happens, you that will manifest by that incubation, you are going to be a product of power. So from that day forward, they will call you the anointed of the Lord. Why? Because the act of the Spirit, are you with me, has parted power in you. Now you are going to be a weakness. Not a weak weakness but a powered witness. So anywhere you appear and you say, I have brought Jesus, a power will manifest to show indeed that he was the one that sent you. Ay, 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 ay. Hey, 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 man. Are, are you with me? 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 Now, myself and my son, we entered one house. My son Tosi, we entered one place, and the man began to give a lot of he gave a lot of complaints. He's a very wonderful servant of God. He's a very and then he began to, and we said, "Don't worry, we are here. This week, everything will change." How many things? Now, this was the man that speaks a million, and that that week when we came, it was becoming very difficult to give twenty thousand. And we say, don't worry. Everything. I stand before God and lie not. <laughs> before the close of the following day, everything changed. The man began to speak in millions again. Millions. Again. You know those notes you saw? You know those notes? You love them, but uh, that, that was the man that filled our car with it. Not so. I'm not talking about book notes. No, not books. So. You know notes. How many of you know notes? Yes, sir. Ah. I get this one that all your prayer points is about money. You see, when the Holy Ghost acts, money will be the one running after you. They lay it at the feet of the apostle. It is not the apostle running after it. The apostle were sitting and they were laying down at the feet of the apostle. When you see a man of God running after money, he has not been acted upon by the Spirit. When the Spirit acts on a man, man will lay it at your feet. You will not be running for it. You will not be running for it. And you know, that 
when they laid at their feet, they were so faithful with it. It wasn't a matter. Okay, if they lay something at your feet, are you not bigger than that? Thing? And when money is bigger than a man of God, it shows that he has not been acted upon by the Spirit. It is not money in your pocket that makes you bigger than money. Are you with me now? Are you with me? Is your, is your heart not after money that makes you bigger than money? He's <laughs> here. He wants to act on men so that they can become a species of power. He's here. But ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witness unto me, both in Jerusalem, and in Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the utmost part of the earth. The act of the Spirit of you brings power. release with power. A family is waiting for you. That child should not have died. It is because the spirit has not acted on you. That woman should not be sick. It is because the spirit has not acted on you. Those people should not be in bondage of sin. It is because the spirit has not acted on you. They are waiting for you. They are waiting for you. They are waiting for you. The Holy Ghost is also waiting for you. Can somebody cry tonight and say, I submit, Holy Ghost? Act on me, Holy Ghost. Act on me. Ah, act on me. If you want to pray now, you can pray. Only Abakete Yatulima. Aleloka Konya Chapafile Kabele Katale Kabahatama. They are waiting for you. They are waiting, they are waiting for you. The cook at the end of the Makwa, the Rakatasuba, Katuadaba. Sunday, in the local, 
le makabala rakate de kakwate le maizba onlo kake ayamba pasi ne farate faratima kakule kabarikita na makua ba i cannot wait for another day without your power only god it is tonight i submit after the holy ghost
to end here. So the crime must continue when you get back home. Are you with me? You see tonight what God is doing is greater than the offering we want to give. So if you have offering you want to give, give it later. You know we are going to meet tomorrow. Are you with me? You already know we are going to meet tomorrow by 5 p.m. Are you with me? Amen. Tonight we won't share grace. You will pray until you are satisfied. Then you carry your Bible and go home. Anywhere you feel it is time to go home, you can begin to go. Any anytime you feel it is now time I want to go, you can. There is no grace today. But I want you to cry to him. You can you can continue to pray. That's how we are going to run today. That's how we are going to end it today. That's the way we are going to end it today. Until you are satisfied, that's when you can begin to go home.